The first thing to do is to download the right installer for your system. To get to the official download area, log into the customer gateway. Please note the HTTPS in the URL, this means it is a secure link. Next, click on the download area link and on the next page click the Maxwell Render logo. You are now in the download area. From the first drop-down, choose the Maxwell Render version you wish to install and then choose the right installer for your system. In this case, it will be the Mac OS X installer. Once the file is downloaded, double-click on the DMG file and agree to the license agreement and the installer window will pop up. As we are installing a node lock license, we will only need to follow the first three steps in order. The fourth step is not needed for this license type. The first step is to install the Maxwell engine components by simply dragging the Maxwell 3 icon to the application folder as the arrow indicates. You will have to authenticate as administrator of the computer to perform this installation. This step is important as it will ensure the installer will have the right permissions on OS X. You should then follow the second installation step to download and install the plugin that connects Maxwell with your 3D modeling application and the third one which installs the Quick Look Viewer, a handy application for displaying Maxwell files in Finder. This third step is optional. After following these steps, Maxwell and all its components have been installed and you can launch Maxwell from the Applications folder. It will naturally appear unlicensed at this point, so the license activator will automatically pop up. If not, you can manually launch it by clicking the license activator icon included in the Maxwell application folder. In the next window, we will choose the first option since we have a license key. This license key consists of a series of digits. You should have received an email from Maxwell Render Sales with your license key. If you can't find this email, please check your spam folder first of all, and if you still can't find it, contact Sales using the Sales contact form and request they resend your license key. In this window, we need to choose the first option since we are licensing this particular computer. The second option allows you to license another computer which may not have an internet connection. We will take a look at the second option in a little bit. For now, pick the first option. It's important to make sure that no firewall is blocking the license activator from reaching our server. Otherwise, you will receive an error message and your license cannot be validated. Click Next. In the following window, we need to enter three things. Your email and password, which are the same as you use for the customer portal. The third is your license key, as mentioned before. Once you've entered your email, password and license key, click Activate and the license activator will connect to our servers and validate your license. Your license key will be placed in the user's home Maxwell folder on your system. Please note that simply copying this file to another computer will not work. This license file is locked to this computer only. However, your node lock license key allows you to also install Maxwell on a laptop, which is useful when you are traveling. To license the laptop, you simply need to follow the exact same licensing procedure on the laptop using the same license key. To license another computer that doesn't have an internet connection, choose the second option in this window. Please note that this computer which is running the license activator now does need an internet connection since it still needs to connect to our servers and validate your license key. In the next window, you need to enter the host ID, also known as the MAC address, of the computer you wish to license. The easiest way to find out the host ID is to install Maxwell on that computer, choosing not to license it. Let the installer finish and then start Maxwell. In the console panel of Maxwell, look for the host ID listed there. Take note of it and then write it in the license activator. The following window is exactly the same as before, so please enter your email and password you use to connect to the customer portal and your license key. As always, please make sure no firewalls are blocking access. Click Activate. The license activator will now connect to our servers and once it has validated your license key, it will pop up a save dialog. Save the file as maxwell underscore suite underscore node locked dot lick, then move it to the appropriate folder on the computer you wish to license. To find out the path of the folder, depending on the operating system you are running, please check our documentation under the main page for the installation and licensing chapter.